I have to say, today has been one of the most exciting days ever uh, in the frequent flyer world uh, for those of us who like getting in on travel deals. Uh, you know, I woke up early this morning, luckily to the news that United.com was pricing a lot of business and first class fares from the United Kingdom to many places around the world for as low as $50. I myself booked a bunch of different trips from London to uh, New York on several dates. I even planned a mega trip to Sydney from London shortly after Christmas to spend the New Year's in Sydney. That one came to about $750, so not quite free, but a fraction of what it would have actually cost. I know tons and tons of readers, whether it's on Facebook or on Twitter, we've been going all day. A lot of people got in on this, so this could technically be a, a big um, revenue hit for United. They pulled Denmark altogether from their website uh, four hours or so after the uh, deal went viral. So I know a lot of people got in on this. So everyone's saying, will United honor this? Well, here's the deal. Let's take a look at some of the past, um, you know, and, and take a look at law. So the Department of Transportation mandates um, that you cannot change the price of airfare after you ticket. Um, so it's a, they're, airlines are not allowed to deceive consumers and charge one price and then reticket after, even if it is a glitch or error. As long as that price has been confirmed and ticketed by the airline, so that is code 399.88. It is unfair and deceptive um, for any scheduled air transportation within the United States to increase the price of that air transportation tour or component to a consumer. Uh, including but not limited to an increase in the price of the seat, an increase in the price of baggage, yada, 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 after it's been purchased by the consumer, except in the case of an increase in a government imposed tax or fee, which this is not, my friends. A purchase is deemed to have occurred when the full amount agreed upon has been paid by the consumer. Uh, my credit card cleared all those payments. I received ticketed confirmed confirmations and ticket numbers from United. So I don't really understand how they're going to legally weasel out of this one. Swiss Airlines in 2012 sold a bunch of different tickets uh, on other carriers um, via many different online travel agencies leaving uh, Myanmar. They tried to cancel tickets and the DOT banked them and made them reissue the tickets. Um, actually in 2013, the airline Delta and United both had different fare glitches a day when tons of people went to Hawaii for cheap or almost free. They also honored those. Now, a lot of people are saying several years ago, United had four mile award uh, glitch to Hong Kong. Um, I got in that myself, we covered it, it was really exciting. They canceled all of those because they claimed that uh, the, four the, the price of the award ticket was normal throughout the whole booking process, but at the very end, it uh, repriced to four miles. So they were able to argue to the DOT saying, well, we showed the right price throughout the whole time. It was a glitch and the DOT did side with them. Now, that being said, United still gave people uh, who flew those first couple days were able to fly for four miles. And then a lot of people I know who complained did get compensation from United. Um, now, American Airlines several in 2011 had sold tickets for about half price first class on Cathay. They I actually went to battle with them and said I'd never fly them again. Well, I guess that's changed. Uh, but they did end up giving me compensation. So here's the deal. I would recommend lay low. Don't make a lot of non-refundable hotel reservations or tours until we exactly see how this plays out. You can be sure as we speak, United's legal team is meeting with their revenue department to see what the real impact of this is. And I'm sure they're talking to the DOT and gonna try to weasel out of it, but they may not be able to. There's, as far as I know, and I'm not a lawyer, I don't see a clear legal recourse for them getting out of this. Of course, they're gonna try. Or maybe they won't, you never know. A lot of times for uh, good karma, the airlines will let the tickets go, just like Etihad recently did with those amazing $178 coach fares. I'd rather get a $50 first class fare, but that's just me. Both deals are equally as amazing. Now here's my thing with United. I know a lot of people ethically will say, it's wrong of you to, to get in on a mistake. Well, when United switched over uh, and the merger happened, I had an award ticket leaving from Miami to go to the south of France for the first time. And I showed up to Miami airport and the Swiss Airlines representative said, sorry, the ticket's not ticketed correctly. So I called up United. I was a platinum at the time. United said, oh, it looks good on our end. Swiss said, we can't see it. For an hour and a half, they went back and forth. And at the end of the day, Swiss said, we can't let you on the plane. United refuses to make right on this. So I had to last minute run to the British Airways terminal, uh, book a last minute ticket, which had $1,000 in fees. United never once agreed to reimburse me for the fees for 
uh, for British Airways. They never apologized. I actually even met with United Mileage Plus executives in the United headquarters at a travel industry event, brought it up, emailed, followed up with them, followed up with social media. I, got, I did end up getting my miles back, but never the difference uh, for being denied boarding on that flight. Maybe I should have followed up more with social media, but basically, I don't feel bad, United. Honestly, you've screwed a lot of customers over. I know I'm not the only one, um, and when it's an error in the customer's uh, behalf, most of the time, we get dinged. And you know what? You made several billion last quarter. Or you're finally on the track to recovery. I think maybe you should just take this one for the team and, uh, and you know, maybe it's karma coming back to get you. Either way it goes, I would not get stressed out. If these do get canceled, it is what it is. I'm not personally going to sue, but there could be potentially recourse for those who would want to. I like to uh, get in on deals when they're good. And if it happens, great. If not, I'm not going to lose sleep over it. I would recommend everyone else not losing sleep. I know I'm getting long-winded here, but basically if you want to get in on these deals in the future, we have a TPG Twitter account, TPG underscore alerts. We only tweet out alerts like this. So you can set a te text message notification. Um, you, don't worry, it's not going to be me tweeting back and forth. It's only the tweets when there's an amazing deal. That way you can get a text message to your phone. We're actually working on a text message alert platform as we speak. But as always, don't expect our daily 9.30 a.m. Eastern email to have the most up-to-date. I know people are still emailing me saying, oh, it's no, it's no longer live. Well, guess what? These deals come and go. So you got to follow us on Twitter, even on Instagram, Facebook, to make sure you don't miss out on these in the future when they come, they go pretty quickly. So anyway, stay tuned, lots to happen here. Hopefully United Honors, maybe they won't, but it'll be interesting to play out.